Well, Sean Buckley, you are the CEO and founder of Ultratune. Now, in the past few days, the uh, papers have reported that uh, the Ultratune ads are the most complained about in the country. Well, have you got a response to this? Yes, look, we did receive a few complaints about them, quite, quite a number. Um, uh, the company's taken a position, and my personal position is, I'm over all this political correctness that is uh, dished out to us by all these do-gooders in the market and around this country. So we've taken a position where we don't follow those guidelines. We'd like to make our ads controversial, a bit of fun, and throw out political correctness in our commercials. And we've achieved that uh, very successfully. The complaints are unfortunate, but I think that the complaints, when you look at the number of people in Australia, as a, a ratio of the number of complaints, it's very low. And we get, just like there's a lot of complaints, we get a lot of uh, our market, male market, committing and, and telling us how great it is that we run these sort of vibrant, funny commercials. Well, they certainly penetrate people's psychology, so you've probably uh, achieved what you set out to. Well, what we achieved, car servicing is very boring, and uh, it, it's a boring thing, it's a grudge purchase. People really don't like doing it. So we've thrown out a bit of humour, a bit of fun, a bit of excitement, a bit of Hollywood into our commercials, and um, we think we've achieved this. So yes, I think it's been a great success. I, I have no problem with all these complaints, because for every complaint we get, we get three people telling us that it's wonderful. Has any advertising body contacted you or governing body about uh, the ads and the complaints? Not consistently. Every one we shoot is, a, is some problem or some little petty thing we've got to address in the commercial. So it's a, it's a bit of a nightmare, but uh, I think that we've got a team of lawyers working on these commercials now. And so when we get the commercial script is tested uh, for political correctness and overreaching that to make sure that there's no, there's no issues with the commercials. And then we, we finally shoot it and, and then finish the product. We do check it again with the lawyers, check the laws with it, and then we submit. Are you pleased with them? Oh yeah, of course we are. <laughs> you know, like um, the, we had the train ad, which got, got barred because they, the, they said they couldn't get it on sexism. All they could get us on was the actual fact that the girls looked a bit dumb when they uh, were in the out in the car, and you know that might be true. I mean, but, you know, under a panic situation with a train coming at you with a blown up engine on a tra train track, you know, I'd be scared too. I'm acting probably a bit dumb. I'm a bit confused. Then we've got the helicopter saving the girls on the cliff. Then we've had the um, the car wash where you get a battery failure and a short circuit in the car. Um, we've got the new one with Van Dam, which is hilarious. And then we've got a new one which is coming up with shooting in the next two weeks, which is a uh, an unfortunate, unexpected situation. So the, all these ads range. We've got, we're going to have 10 or 12 in the series. We don't care what people say in the marketplace, right? I'm lucky enough to own my own company. I like them. The feedback, we've done three lots of market research would say it's good, it's funny, people like it. So we're not worried about these individual complaints. The overall market likes it, we like it. I smile when I see it. Our customers love it. What's wrong with it? What about the girls? Do they like being the ads? Well, they like the, I think they both like it, they're, they're, uh, they're publicity junkies, so they love that part of it, but they hate the dirty roof that gets to it, you know, hanging off a cliff on a 90 degree angle with a car is pretty scary, I wouldn't do that. And then the other one, the car wash, they got saturated, and they, you know, their makeup got ruined, and, and the hairdryer, the big blower and the hairdryer came out and blew all their hair out and they lost some of their hair extensions, so it was a pretty pleasant experience for them. And then, of course, um, uh, with the, uh, the train wreck, that wasn't too bad, that was an easy one. The latest one they shot was easy, but the next one we're about to shoot in two weeks, they're not going to enjoy that at all, they're going to hate it. But we pay them well, we pay them a lot of danger money, which is good. And uh, give us a sneak peek into the Van Damme one that's going to be released at the end of 2016. Yeah, it's released on January 14th. Oh, so next, early next year? Early next year, I just signed off the final cut, I'm going to show you. but. You know, tell me you're trustworthy. Let's hope you don't go still the beans about the about the gag and that. But it's a funny commercial. It's uh, it's uh, Van Dam doing what he does best uh, and saving the day. So I suppose the complaint will be just disgaging from that will be that uh, the complaint will be that it's a male saving a female. Uh, that'll be the angle they'll complain about. Are you at liberty to discuss the payment for Van Dam? Oh, no, please don't do that. What about that wasn't uh, in the script? You're going to ask me that? <laughs> well, you you're, an, you're an intelligent oh, lots man. Lots of money. Lots of money. Um, I had to open a credit card up. I'm still paying it off. Well, speaking of Van Dam, I understand that you also approach some uh, heavyweights out of the US. Oh yeah, we've got uh, we've, with our ads, we're going to introduce some high-end male and female talent to work with the commercials. 
So we've approached a number of people. We approached Schwarzenegger, Stallone, uh, The Rock. Um, who else we approached? Ronda Rousey. Um, we, we had a contract with Ronda Rousey, but we had an argument over one part of the contract my lawyers put in there, and they were right about it. They were very smart. Uh, can you divulge 